sleeves are rolled up, ladies and gentlemen, of the RPW Network. Today is a KR day. And today is a rise day with two championship matches up for grabs. The opener for the YouTube Championship. The ender, the main event for the junior heavyweight title. Ladies and gentlemen, we also have a couple number one contender matches here today as well. Well, we're going to be finding out the number one contender for the brand new Divine Women's Championship between Alex Bishop and Eve Torres. And also later today, we're going to be finding out the number one contender and the first opponent for Charmander's TV Championship. And it's featuring two former TV champions. Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be a fantastic rise. As all of the rises have been this year so far, this is who we are. A sold out London crowd with Jonathan letting the crowd know what is up. Ladies and gentlemen, the number one contender for the RPW Intercontinental Championship, of course, winning a couple of days ago on Monday is Kyla Kanye, and he's out in a red and black attire here for Rise, which looks very, very good. Indeed, Kyla Kanye has been on a tear recently in season number three, so far sitting at uh, on a very nice 47% win record. Actually, that has to go up because that's not even updated from Monday. So that's even higher, probably like 48, 49%, ladies and gentlemen, maybe even 50. This season so far uh, had a fantastic Cruiserweight Championship match last week on Rise against Oliver Freaking Kings. Unfortunately, lost via countout. But uh, then on Monday, becomes number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship and now goes one on one against the Viper. For the undisputed YouTube Championship, ladies and gentlemen, Calacanye has never been a champion in RPW. And I think this will be a lovely way for him to start a cheeky little YouTube Championship on Wednesdays to then hopefully take that form into the Intercontinental Championship match. The Viper and Kyla Kanye one on one for the RPW undisputed YouTube Championship, which I love. Very, very much. Welcome to Rise. A one and all. Leave a thumbs up if you are excited. And it's time right in. It's a lovely looking belt. A brand new belt on Wednesdays. And maybe Calacanye is wearing the red in order to say I deserve that YouTube championship. I'm wearing red and black as well. As things kick off the Viper's first championship defense of his RPW's very early RPW career. Good time for the Viper here in season three. Winning that YouTube Championship. And now hopefully for him. Defending it. Retaining it. And continuing. A reminder, the YouTube Championship will be defended every single Wednesday. Ladies and gentlemen, it won't always be the opener. Sometimes it might even main event. But here today is the opener. And it's a fantastic match between the two. Look at that. The best are here. Oh my god, the crowd signs are going mental here on Rise. Look at the amount of signs. I wish there was some variety. Uh, apparently everyone went to the same sign store as each other and picked up the same one but hopefully as time goes on we see some more variety as Calacanya goes ventures to that top turnbuckle where he's very very dangerous the cruiserweight almost had that cruiserweight title around his waist last week there's a nice arc around from the top rope hooks both legs and Ron is there one two already and a kick out there at two Ron was ready to count for that one and another lariat from Kyla Kanye holds on for the pin. Ron is sliding and gliding all over the place, ladies and gentlemen. Another two count. And a kick out by the Viper. Fast paced start to this one. Kyla Kanye constantly with fast paced matches. Of course, he does count uh, as a rookie of the year for this season. This being still his rookie year after only having 10 matches in season number two. Lovely neck breaker there. The Viper is stunned. Come to his curse, he gets the reverse off. Lock up, Calacanye. Average whip. Rebound, he ducks the first one. As he goes up for the second, misses. Viper goes running straight past him. An Irish whip. Reversal. Viper to the outside. Right hand of Calacanye. Goes for a... He's going for a suplex. He's going for a suplex. No. Oh my goodness, little springboard suplex. Jumped off that bottom rope. Brought him over, Superman punched the Viper. Connecting to the temple of Kyla Kanye, but he kicks out at a zero count, which 
I don't think we've ever seen before in RPW. With such a volition. Beautiful kick out there. And Kyle Akanya showing some resiliency. As the Viper takes him. Onto the rope. Left hand is down to the midsection. Snapmare takedown. The Viper. Outside. Dives through the bottom rope. Into a stunner. Beautiful maneuver. There by the Viper. Owens oh, gets reversed. He was going for ground and pounds. Kalakanya rolls him over. Left hand is connecting. And Kalakanya, again, a lot of fans in the RPW universe. These past couple of weeks, he's been on the best run of his early career. And hopefully, it ends with a championship around his waist. Because I think he so, so deserves it. He could have been cruiserweight champion. He might be intercontinental champion. And he could be YouTube champion. Here today, three potential titles he could have had around his waist. Lovely strength from the cruiserweight as he goes at top turn buckle Kalakane the saving grace as Ron just in the way eventually moves goes to the cover though undisputed YouTube championship on the line and a kick out to by the Viper lovely stuff here by Kalakane and the rise crowd are into it as well they are very into it running knee the Novak knee keeping composure is Kalakane super kick the face of the nightmare. Best worst move in RPW history. Joining us in season three. Love Kalakanya's gear. The saving grace. He's one. Of, he, he's blossoming into one of my favorites over on World War Zone. It's a shame I don't get to commentate World War Zone, but I'm thankful I get to commentate him on Rise here on Wednesdays. As he again focuses on that arm. Reminder: main event here today. RK defending the Junior Heavyweight Championship for the first time. He had a number of contenders match last week, kind of. With uh, HK Styles and GMK. If one of them pinned him, he would have given them a title match. None of them got the win over him, of course. As Carlo Kanye goes flying, but no body home. He's defending here today, though. Is RK for the first time one on one. Going to be a very exciting big splash by the Viper. Goes to the middle rope. And another splash down in the corner. Hooks the leg to retain the undisputed. YouTube Championship. Just a one count there. Kalakanyi. Very resilient. Forced to roll out of this one though. You're not worthy. Charting saving grace as well. They're liking what they're seeing. I think there's definitely a clear fan favourite in this one. And I think the uh, <laughs> I think the arena might might lose a roof here in London today. If Kalakanyi does win, I think the RPW Universe is going to treat it like a world title win. The way they're harping on about him. Clearly, they want to see him with a belt. Both superstars now back into the ring. Lovely uppercut. Viper on the ropes. Hooking fingers. Oh, look at the athleticism. Oh, my goodness, DDT. Look at the athleticism on display from Kyle Kanye. Now in the corner. Face first goes to Viper. Another lockup. Focusing on the arm now. Is the saving grace. Another lockup. He sends the Viper out to the outside. Color. Oh, what is he saying off for here? What is he saying off for a drop kick through the bottom rope? The Viper plummeting down. As this one topples to the outside. And again. This is awesome chance in the opener of Rise, ladies and gentlemen. And that is what Rise is all about. And again, this is what RK keeps saying. RK wants to make Rise the best show, the A show, the flagship show. RK wants to make sure people know that Rise is here to contend with Mondays and Fridays. And so far this year, oh, 360 no scope. So far this season, every single superstar has been making sure that Rise is up there in terms of performances. And entertainment with Mondays, with Fridays. Over a drop, Kyle Kanye goes up for the pinfall to look to be the new undisputed YouTube champion. Kyle Kanye wins his first championship of his young RPW career here on Wednesday, kicking off the show. The Vipers' reign was just one week, but Kyle Kanye is going to celebrate this one loud. And 
proud. Big congratulations indeed. Winner of this next match, Alex Bishop and Eve Torres will become number one contender for the Women's Divine Championship here on Wednesday to take on Madison Fox next week for the Women's Divine Championship. And a divine belt it is indeed. One of the best looking, most intricately crafted championships in all of RPW. Ron rings the bell as this one is underway. Alex Bishop from World War Zone. Eve Torres from Friday Night Fury. Ladies and gentlemen, as these two go on, neither of these two have ever been a champion in Regents Pro Wrestling. And this is what Rise is all about in giving them an opportunity to prove that they belong. Nice DDT by the Canadian Bishop. Goes for the cover already on Eve Torres, who kicks out at one. Bishop with an Irish rip into the corner. Lock up now with Eve Torres. A right hander right to the chest of Eve Torres. Now holding on to the legs. Nice power bomb there. The Canadian's very own. Not well received here in London, England. That's for sure. As Eve Torres springboard. Oh, lovely forearm. The cameras are on for that one. Beautiful maneuver from Eve Torres of Friday Night Fury. Bit of brand warfare here. An early supremacy matchup. Which is, again, another reason why Rise is so well-loved in the RPW universe. Anyone can appear. Any show can compete. Any superstar can win. And any superstar can fall, ladies and gentlemen. Another Irish whip Superman punch. Down goes Bishop on the logo. Ron is there to count along to count, though. Right-hander. Now from behind. Holding on for a little chokehold. Submission. On Rise. Which have not been going too well so far in RPW Season 3. And continues here today. If Torres might follow up with a pin. No. Goes for some left-handers instead. Alex Bishop now back to her feet. Ranos clothesline. Beautiful takedown. On to Eve Torres. Now Alex Bishop. Wants to go up against Madison Fox. Next week on Rise. Up for the Women's. Divine Championship 1. 2. And a kick out. And a kick out. From Eve Torres was looking good. Both superstars back and forth. Looking good, looking ready to earn their first championship in RPW. All on the line. Here today on Rise. Doesn't get much bigger for both of these two superstars. Eve Torres back in the ring. Alex Bishop in hot pursuit. Nice kick down. Eve Torres forced to roll out again. And re enter the ring. Lock up. Irish whip. Rebound. Right hander to the midsection. Great first two matches. Great. Opening matches here on Rise. Nice reversal there. Another lockup. Irish trip. Reversal in the corner. Another reversal. Alex Bishop very technical between the two. The Rise crowd on their feet here in London. They are absolutely eating up, ladies and gentlemen. As Alex Bishop now goes for the sharp shooter. Canada's very own. Goes for the sharp shooter. Middle of the ring. Is she going to get it to tap? No, I would love a win with a sharpshooter. We know RK used it before Zeke. Could have been a great ending, but... Eve Torres breaks out. Oh, Eve Torres. Eve Torres with another submission of her own. Legs wrapped around the waist of Alex Bishop. Number 10 on the line. Nothing happening. Eve Torres setting up. Alex Bishop from behind. Holds on again. Can she wrap those legs around? She can. Looking for one more submission. Opportunity and Alex Bishop is forced to tap. Alex Bishop is forced to tap. And we get a submission win on Wednesday on Rise. As Eve Torres goes one-on-one -on -one with Madison Fox next week for the Women's Divine Championship. Well, Norm is in the ring from Whoa. Warzone, ladies and gentlemen, these two were not involved a couple of weeks ago in the six-man elimination chamber match for the TV championship. Of course, both of these are former TV champions. Norm held it for three days. Andy Brady, I believe, held it for 14 days. And now Andy Brady, we haven't seen him since October of last year or something like that. But guess what? He is back in an RPW ring. He is back on rise. And this is a number one contenders match. The winner of this match goes up against Charmander for the RPW Television Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, Norm and Andy Brady with a Hurricane Rana. Early doors. What a matchup. This is set to be. That is for sure fantastic stuff here. 
Very, very, very excited for this one. Big slap down from Norm to Brady. Of course, Andy Brady returned on Fradnat Fury last week in a triple threat matchup in which he won against Kaiju Jaeger and Ryan Curtis. Looks like he didn't miss a beat. I love his attire. Love his look. He looks more in shape, more focused, more ready to be a champion. One of these two former TV champions going to get the first look in against Charmander when he defends it in the coming weeks. And Andy Brady, early doors getting off to a good start. Now, Norm is coming off a loss, remember, off World Wars and a couple of days ago against Disciple Zeke. He lost in the co-main event. Andy Brady, like I just said, coming off a win of Fran and Fury. So will that momentum propel them in this match? Sometimes, you know, sometimes coming off a loss, you want to make sure you end that quickly. So you come back, try even harder and get a win. Sometimes coming off a loss, it gets your momentum down and gets your morale down and you get back-to-back -back losses and that's when you spiral. Uh, vice versa with a win. Sometimes you're coming off a win, you have that momentum. You're like, okay, I just won. I can win again. But vice versa. Sometimes you come off a win and you're like, ah, oh, this is going to be easy. I've just won. I got this. And you get complacent as Andy Brady with a big splash. Middle of the ring. Dead center on the logo. Hooks the leg. Oh, no. Rebecca takes a sweet time. In just a one count. I think Andy Brady's going to be a fan favorite in RPW upon his return. I really do. Especially on Friday Night Fury where everyone eats. Everyone gets opportunities. I think this is the season for Andy Brady to be a brand champion again. And have a nice run on Friday's another pinfall here on Norm kick out one he's starting off strong is Andy Brady starting off very strong Norm forced to roll out Andy Brady keeping eyes on those springboard over the top and down goes Norm Brady back into the ring has Norm right where he wants him right now oh have I spoke too soon Hurricane Runner gets reversed and Norm I thought for a second was going to the top corner there. Which we don't normally see from him, of course, the big man. As he goes against Andy Brady. With a buckle bomb. Back first into the corner goes Andy Brady. Norm is there with a pinfall. It's one. It's two. Number one contender. No. Hands up just in time. And Norm is not happy with that call. Norm finally getting some momentum. He's not had a good start to this one. It's been all Andy Brady. And there is the showboating from Norm himself. Push-ups on the back of Andy Brady. He's trying to get back into this one. High kick dodged out the way. Norm with massive strength. And a big slam down to AB, the green superhero of RPW. And another one. Look at Norm looking big. Looking strong. Another slam down. And a punch to the face as well. And this is where Andy Brady did not want to be. He's definitely not going to win the strength matchup against Norm. He needs to focus on speed and acrobatics. And that's what he's going for here. Ducks it. Jumps it. That's nice arm drag takedown. Andy Brady keeping on. Not letting Norm breathe for a second. Another Irish whip. And a big... Oh my goodness, deck breaker. As Norm goes down, Rebecca is there counting. Oh, it's two count. It is a two count. Andy Brady. No, he gets caught. He gets caught. What a slam by Norm. What a slam by Norm. Oh, my God. Andy Brady gets shoulders up. How on earth is he still going? Rolls to the outside. Norm. In hot pursuit. Norm. Going to the top turnbuckle now. Andy Brady back into the ring. Needs to get him down. Oh, big shoulder block. From that top rope. Norm. Excited. About his performance. In this one, started off slowly. But now has been taken over. And what is Norm going for here? Oh my goodness, Norm has just jumped to the top rope. Joining Andy Brady with a superplex. And he holds on for a swinging neck breaker. Norm to become number one contender for the TV Championship. What a maneuver on Andy Brady. One, two, and three. What a move. What an ending. And what a win for Norm. That was some of the most athletic nature I've ever seen in all of RPW. That was insane. Norm versus Charmander. What a matchup that is going to be.
We have three matches remaining here today, ladies and gentlemen. A six-man tag team match here today between B and B and B, Black, Bold, and Bodacious versus Empire of Pain. Three on three. Things that we love to see. It's also World War Zone versus Friday Night Fury. Again, another little early preview of Supremacy before the two singles matches after this one there they are ladies and gentlemen b and b and b coming onto the scene and becoming early fan favorites in regents pro wrestling over on the blue brand damian mack bold brian and roddy ripper hall i guess we know which one is the bold one now and which is bodacious love the name Love the team. It's going to be a tough match against Empire of Pain. Though. They're all coming off big wins on Friday Night Fury. Finally getting some momentum, which they need to carry on here today. And if you think about it, that is a former World Heavyweight Champion, a former United States Champion, a former Intercontinental Champion, and former Tag Team Champions. Uh, big names on Rise. That is for sure. You get your money's worth on Rise. You get your money's worth tenfold. Bell has been rang. Roddy Ripper Hall and the Bear to kick things off here on Rise. Love tag team matches, especially uh, six-man tag team matches now. With the new rule in RPW, tag matches in general are some of my favorite to watch. Uh, especially when the Ministry have been involved. RK and Poker have been put on absolute classics. Everyone has really been putting on amazing tag team matches as of late, so... Being able to see a big match like this. Very, very exciting indeed. Roddy wants the tag. Brandon Bombs wants the tag. Leo's in versus Damian Mack. Here on a Wednesday in a running drop kick. Down goes Leo. Damian Mack clearing out both tag partners. Two members of EOP are down. It's just Leo standing for himself. Mack against the ropes. Lock up. Forearms into the back. Look at Leo with his sheer strength to carry Damien Mack over. As uh, Brandon Bombs, I think, is now up on the rope. No, that is the bear now, Brandon Bombs. Will join the EOP corner. As Damien Mack looks to get some momentum back. Bold Brian and Brandon Bombs, the only two former world champions in this match, yet to be in the ring. And that might change now as Bold Brian. Oh, he's tagged in. Make sure you do your stretches for RPW, ladies and gentlemen. We're still waiting on that standing desk from to Vince Shimon. Can, can we start like a, a GoFundMe for a standing desk, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, goodness gracious me. Chaos all, all wound up on a Wednesday. Oh, Brian. Beautiful takedown. A real OG of RPW is a bold Brian. A real staple of the company. Had a few months off. Returned in better shape than we've ever seen. And now part of B&B&B. &B &B. There's Damien Mack and the Bear. Both tagged in another running dropkick. They didn't learn from last time. But this time Damien Mack fell awkwardly. The Bear goes with a German suplex. And holds on around that waist for another German suplex. And you've hit two. You might as well make it three. Brandon Bombs looking good. Looks to get a tag off. Maybe some tag team maneuvers. Damien Mack not where you want to be. Tag made. The former... Uh, Friday Night Fury Tag Team Champions. One of the longest tag reigns in all of RPW history. These two, Brandon and The Bear. And they still have the chemistry. Roddy Ripple knocked off the side. Bold Brian punched as well. And The Bear brings Bob Brian into the ring. Instead of knocking down, he's also bringing Roddy into the ring. The Bear's bringing everyone from BNBNB &BNB into the ring. Instead of focusing on the legal man of Damien Mack, which he now is. Belly to belly, throwing him. Roddy and uh, Bob Bryan both stunned in the ring. Damien Mack forced to roll out, though. Tag made. Brandon comes in. Damien Mack now back into the ring. That's arm track there. He was going for the clothesline. Mack is definitely quicker, though. Look up between the two. Brandon Bombs wins at that one. There's Damien Mack up on his shoulder. The snake eyes in the corner. Looks to leg. For the pinfall. Tucked away in the corner. It's one, two. Kick out there by Damien Mack just in time. We've seen one tap out already. Not going to see another just yet. The Brandon bite. Not getting the job done. Oh, we go straight for another one, though. 
Straight for another one. Brown a bite. Bob Bryan now can't re re enter the ring. Oh, back to back tap outs. He taps out. Roddy Ripple taps out. The Brandon bite gets it done. An empire of pain with the win. Leo Brandon and the Bear. Two wins this week. Uh, and they are fine. Well, the one on Friday, of course. They're finally getting some momentum. And looking good. Matches remaining. Ladies and gentlemen. And these two have such a rich history. Recent history together, of course. Ladies and gentlemen, a lot to settle between these two. Disciple Drew and Dragon Romanic in the Panama match here on Rise. Now, of course, so much has been going down on World Warzone. A few weeks ago, in the main event of World Warzone, we had Drew versus Dragon Romanic in a one-on-one -on -one match in the illustrious tournament. And of course, of course, shenanigans ensued when team captain and cure leader, uh, illustrious Jocko, stepped in as special guest referee and clearly, clearly, clearly played favorites in honor and in favor of this man, Disciple Drew, meaning he advanced one step closer in the illustrious tournament and Dragon Manic was knocked out of the tournament. Um, stuff from to Vince got released and the up and universe was not happy and blah, blah, blah. Uh, move uh, fast forward to two days ago. On World Warzone, ladies and gentlemen, we saw Disciple Drew again in the main event picture. And none other than Disciple Colm, formerly known as Disciple Colm, now going back to FTN Colm, came out middle of the match, ladies and gentlemen, and delivered a big right-hander to the face of Disciple Drew. No one saw it coming. The Poppers, the Cure Boys, apparently seemingly so have split up. And uh, Dragon Romanic still wanted revenge, wanted a lick back because he got called scared, he got called all these sort of names. And of course, the Upper Universe agreeing with Dragon Romanic that it was not fair against him what went down um, on that World Wars and the Illustrious Tournament. Dragon Romanic should have been one step closer to dethroning Jocko. For that Universal Champion and now here on Rise on Wednesday can get his lick back and get some momentum back. He needs a win. He needs this win. Does Dragon Romanic as he goes up to the top corner. Sold out Rise crowd. Standing on their feet for Dragon Romanic. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what he does here in RPW. Now we are talking. Ooh, pain. Dragon Romanic one on one here on Rise, ladies and gentlemen. And again, this this is not the end of Drew versus Dragon. I have a feeling this is going to go on a long, long time. This is just revenge for that loss on Monday. You know, this is just Dragon Romanic's way of saying, look, I can beat you one on one as long as your grandpa Jocko is not involved. I can get the win. And he needs to win. He's under 20% right now. He's been main eventing. He's been opening shows and whatnot. But he needs to start winning. And that needs to start happening here today. Big match for Dragon Amani. Big match for Disciple Drew as well. Showing that he can do it without Jocko being the special guest referee. He seems to think he can. He seems to think he's the face of World Warzone. And surely, if he's the face of World Warzone, he can take down Mr. Main Event at Dragon Romanic here today. On rise, first pin for Disciple Drew. Disrespectful for him across the face. It is a two count. And it is a kick out. You have to think as well. Jocko and Drew have both screwed Dragon Monic out of his big illustrious tournament now. You have to imagine sooner rather than later that Disciple Zeke is going to get involved as well. Especially now with FTN Colm seemingly breaking away from the cure. You have to assume that Disciple Zeke will eventually get involved. Get his nose stuck in against Dragon Romanic and that leaves a two-on-one scenario where I, I feel like we need we need the World Warzone superstars to step up you know we need the World Warzone locker room to step up and start to realize the evil that is taking place with the cure and start to help our superstars like Dragon Romanic I feel like people don't step up or, 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 or you know make their voice be heard unless something happens to them and then they start to get loud and by then it's going to be too late whereas if you get involved now and start to help out now. You can stop it from happening to anyone else. 
as the camera goes to the ramp. And who on earth is this, ladies and gentlemen, entering the ring? Dragon Monarch with a reversal. A whippersnapper connecting. And there's someone with a Cure logo on his chest. Is he going to attack Dragon Monarch? Or Disciple Drew? I can't tell who he's going for. He's just watching at the moment. He's getting involved. I think he's trying to go against Disciple Drew. Dragon Monarch. Top rope. Someone's come. He's getting Disciple Drew up, ladies and gentlemen. He was holding for Dragon Monarch. He's getting involved. A clothesline. I mean, this was a no DQ match, of course. Dragon Monarch made sure to make it a no DQ match. And someone has just come out to the ring. And is beating down Disciple Drew. Dragon Monarch is taking the crowd right now. This turned onto a 2 on one handicap match. And I don't really know what's going on. Here's the Cure logo on his chest. I thought we left Masked Man in season number two after all the shenanigans we saw with the Cure, with the Masked Cure superstars. Of course, FTN Colm is suspended right now after the events on Monday. To Vince released a statement yesterday saying he's suspended. He's all masked up. All hidden his identity. What is going on? Disciple Drew has made some enemies. I was just speaking about the World War Zone roster. Coming up as well. We set up. Oh my god. The masked man set him up in the corner. As he leaves. Dragon and Manic with his spear. Oh my goodness. Hooks the leg. One. Two. And three. The Mars Superstar came in, set Drew in the corner, Dragon Romanic with the spear. What a win he gets on Rise. And what did we just see? Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know. And it is time for the main event of Rise. Jonathan, I'll take it away. Don't you worry as we have a little rematch from a few weeks ago. The final two of the 30-man gauntlet, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, King Daniel, potentially, potentially, number one contenders for the RPW Tag Team Towers. We might see Daniel and Key versus Poke and RK at Breakthrough next Sunday, ladies and gentlemen. But today, we get Mr. King of the Ring, former Intercontinental Champion, going one-on-one -on -one against RK for that junior heavyweight championship. We know King Daniel's wanted a match against RK. We know RK's wanted a match against King Daniel as well. Of course, everybody eats over on Friday Night Fury. Friday Superstar getting a title match in the main event here today. I think it's going to be a fantastic one-on-one -on -one match after the shenanigans that we just saw. Maybe that was Dragon Manic's way of getting his guy back. Maybe Dragon Manic didn't even know the Masked Man was coming. Maybe that was just a superstar that doesn't like the cure saying, hey, now this is how you make things fair, ladies and gentlemen. The junior heavyweight champion looks so good. RK okay. with his hood. Oh, he's got his pink attire out today. He's hooded up for the main event of Rise. That belt looks so good around the waist of RK. Again, he said he wants to make Rise the best show, the most must-see show like old school Toxic Thursday was. And here we go. Main event time. King Daniel and RK junior heavyweight championship on the line. And anything is possible. There's the belt. The pink attire from RK. King Daniel standing opposite in the purple. Ron, ring that bell. And here we go. One-on-one -on -one junior heavyweight championship on the line. I thought King Daniel was going for a finisher off the bat. Love the attires. RK's been putting on some bangers recently in the tag team division. In the multi-man matches in the singles as well. Big win last week on Rice. His first title defense. This is his first ever singles title defense. He's only ever been a tag team champion. I think Daniel goes to the top rope. Not often we see him go to the top rope. That is for sure. But he's going to connect with a little frog splash. RK forced to roll out early here. The champion. Wrong enough to start his count. RK after a slow start. Nice snapmare takedown. Remember, count out. The champion retains. We saw last week on Rise with Oliver Freaking Kings, the king of the cruiserweights. Winning via count out. Reversal. RK into the barricade. Good start. King Daniel. Former IC champion. Looked at another championship to his name. Looking at win percentages. King Daniel right now 29%. Not of the best of starts to season three. A few of those have been multi-man and tag teams with Kiavis, of course. RK right now 89% in season three. He's only lost one match this season. I believe that was the tag team match with Poke against the Blackhearts. 
three championships, 45th match of his career. 64% overall. He had 57% last year, 28 to 16. In singles, he's 13 and 2. He's only lost two singles matches. Uh, Key Iverson and Dragon Romanic are the only two losses that he's had in one-on-one -on -one matches. But King Daniel might be their third here today. What a DDT from the corner. RK's had no offense so far. It's been all King Daniel. Early doors here today. As he looks to take over. Irish trip reversal. King Daniel forearm again. He's looking good, ladies and gentlemen. We might have a new champion. Here today, we might have a new champion. Daniel getting the crowd. Excited for this one. RK's literally had zero offense. Nice drop kick there. Daniel now. I mean, he could have been junior heavyweight champion if it wasn't for RK. If he won the gauntlet a few weeks ago, King Daniel would have been the junior heavyweight champion right now. RK busted open. King Daniel absolutely taking over. There's the reversal that RK needed. Need to the back as well. And this has been so one-sided. Maybe the pink attire is a, a bad luck charm for RK. I think it's one loss. Was he in the pink attire in the tag team match? I can't remember, but... If he was, and if he loses this, the pink attire might need to go. It might need to go. As he's been dominated with a white attire. Then again, is that just superstitions that people don't believe in? Back into the ring. King Daniel is quick. That's reversal. I knew these two would have a great matchup. I knew they would have a great matchup. When I saw them in the gauntlet, the final two superstars, I've wanted to see them for the championship ever since. And I knew it would be a great match. Even in the tag team matches, they put on great tag team matches. Whenever these two share the ring together, you know... It's going to be a spectacle. Especially when the championship is on the line. RK quicker now. King Daniel. He has him not securely. Snake has in the corner. The thing is, we've seen with RK, he can hit that Future Shock DDT out of nowhere. We saw it last week in the Triple Threat match. Back-to-back -back DDT's got him the win. Anaconda Vice to claim more RK's moveset. It's why he has a good high win percentage. His moves can be hit out of nowhere if he gets momentum. Oh my goodness, the big man, the heavyweight. Little shooting star press from the corner. My twin brother, RK, busted open on that forehead. He's looking to get back into it now. Some cheers for RK again. He's, he's slowly becoming more of a fan favorite like he was back in the day before joining the ministry when he was with Maurice Axel. He's slowly shifting back to that mentality since the cure have come out just trying to ruin up the thing is with RK no matter what happens whether he's with the ministry no matter what RK is doing his love for RPW will always be above that you know his love for RPW will always outshine the rest so even if he's with the ministry when the cure are blatantly trying to ruin World Warzone the brand that he started his career on RK will always step up will always speak up and look to take down the bigger evil lock up with King Daniel of course, we'll be defending his King of the Ring crown later on in the year, which I'm very excited for. We'll see if he can be back-to-back -back King of the Rings. RK. Too slow. King Daniel, another springboard kick to the chest there. RK back up now to his feet. King Daniel looking for the Junior Heavyweight Championship. Down goes RK on his head. And that can be all she wrote, ladies and gentlemen. King Daniel hooks the leg. Run is there for one. Run is there for two. A new champion. No shoulders up in time. RK kicks out. King Daniel, though, needs to keep the onslaught going now. And does DDT. RK's teetering. King Daniel thought he had it done. No nice reversal there. RK, flow over. Neck breaker connecting. Big from RK. Now taking advantage of that arm. One stomp at a time. RK heated up now. And again, the RPW Universe on his side for this one. He's getting some cheers. He's too slow, though. Nice reversal. RK's trying to hit a big move. He's trying to hit a big move. Oh, Claymore connects. That's the big move he was trying to hit to retain the junior heavyweight championship. King Daniel kicks out. Oh, my goodness gracious me. What a matchup we are seeing. Oh, my God. The lights go out. And King Daniel, the bloody face of King Daniel from up behind. The lights go out. No one knew what was happening. A claymore from King Daniel. His own move. Hooks the leg. 
on RK kick out and Tui kicks out of the Claymore. He kicks out of the Claymore. Back and forth we go. Punches and chops connecting from both superstars. What a matchup. Uh, RK has said all along, since being, uh, being champion, he wants to make Rise the most must-see RPW show of the week. And that is exactly what he's doing right here. Back and forth with King Daniel. This is an... Inc Rise has been so good these past few weeks as RK goes with the kicks to the chest. Both superstars busted open. King Daniel's face paint is teetering. Ripped off his face. RK takes a breather. In the corner. King Daniel in the opposite corner. RK head full of steam. Big clothesline. Almost taking the head off of King Daniel. This one's coming down to it. RK has him up. On his shoulders. RK ooh, with the go to sleep. Away from the ropes. Junior heavyweight champion. Is going to retain his championship. One, two and three. My twin brother. What a matchup between the two. What a matchup. I kind of hope the Blackhearts become noble contenders for those tag titles now because I think that'll be a great matchup. RK with his first ever singles title defense. No poke in his corner. No interferences. Just pure, real graps wrestling. One on one. No shenanigans. No interferences. Just one of the best matches you ever see on a Rise show. And still, your junior heavyweight champion is RK. And what a matchup it was, ladies and gentlemen. Keep your sleeves rolled up. And we'll see you on Friday for Friday Night Fury. This is who we are.